Welcome to the USB light project. This is just a very quick video talking through how we produce our USB lights at KHS. So you're gonna start with a steel rule, uh, your two pieces of timber, and you're gonna mark them out to the sizes that are on the working diagram. You then get a tri-square, place the brass edge along the side of the wood and tri-square around the piece of timber on all four sides. You'll then need to flip the timber over the other way and then measure from the other end so you have a waste piece in the middle on both parts. So you should have your two shorter ends and your two longer sides like that. Make sure you write your initials on them. You're then going to need a bench hook and a tenon saw, which you'll then use to cut off the line, stay slightly off the line so it's slightly bigger than the line on all four pieces. On the belt sander, make sure you're wearing safety glasses and any loose clothing or long hair is tucked in or taken off. Then sand down to the line on all four pieces. So take your time, sand down, keep your fingers back from the belt and just sand down to the line on all four pieces like so. Once you've completed that, we then need to start to mark out our lap joint. So measure the thickness of the thinner sides and then measure in from the end of the thicker side using that measurement. So make a little mark We're using the steel rule. You'll then get a tri-square, which we used earlier, to then tri-square around three sides. So along the, long, the wider face and down the two sides, like so. That should then be the same thickness as one of your thinner sides, which you can then check like so. Once you've done that, then you can use what we call a marking gauge. Now this is used to mark the center line going around. So rather than have to measure all three sides, we can set a marking gauge to halfway, holding onto the block, you can then try square, sorry, you can then mark and gauge around the end. Use a pencil then to fill in the marks as you go around and then color in the side that you're going to take away later on. Going back to the bench hook and tenon saw, you can then cut down to the halfway line. So stopping when you see that halfway line that we marked earlier. Take the bench hook out and place a piece of timber facing you with the bit that you're going to take off. Using a chisel and a wooden mallet, gently tap the chisel down in a downward direction. Make sure you never chisel towards yourself or towards your hands and take the bits of timber off a little bit at a time until you've created your lap joint. Keep testing and trying with your thinner side to make sure that your lap joint is accurate. Once you've done that, take one of the thinner sides, which is gonna be the back piece of your light and find the center. So measure, find halfway, and then measure, find halfway the other way. So we need to find the very center. This is gonna be the hole for our USB cable to come out the back of your light. So take your time, make sure it's accurate and find the very center. Mark a cross, which is where you're gonna drill through in a second. Using a bench drill or the pillar drill, again, safety glasses, any loose clothing or long hair needs to be tucked in. Using the pillar drill, watch your fingers, hold onto the piece of timber tightly, pull down nice and slowly and drill through that center mark that we just created earlier on. Like I said, that's gonna be for the USB cable to come out the back of your light. Once you've done that, we then really start gluing together. So using some PVA wood glue, we're gonna glue all four corners and then we're gonna glue a base out of uh, MDF to the bottom of your light. The base is gonna be slightly larger so that we can sand it down later on. Using some masking tape, we'll then tape around the base. We can go back on the belt sander now and sand down the base to the right size of the box. So sand down, taking your time, careful not to touch the, belts, the belt to the sides. We're then ready to create the lid. So then we can then mark around on a piece of ply, drawing around nice and neatly with a pencil, the shape of the lid. Going back onto the belt sander, we can then sand down to our lines nice and accurately to create our lid. We're then ready to start marking out three holes on the lid. Two on the ends are gonna be for screws to screw the lid on, and the one in the very center is gonna be for our USB light to poke through. So find the center line, Mark in from the ends, and then mark a center line, which is gonna be, like I said, for our USB, like so. We can then go back onto the bench drill or the pillar drill. Again, X marks the spot, drill through the very center for the USB, and then we're going to use what we call a combination drill or a combi drill, which is like so. 
and we're then going to drill in through the two ends, which is going to be for the screws. This is what we call a pilot hole. So we're going to drill our pilot hole, and then using a screwdriver and a dome-headed screw, we're then going to screw in the two screws on the ends. Like that. We can then start to design with our acrylic for the top. So we're going to use 2D Design, which is a CAD package, a computer-aided design package. So we're going to use this to accurately draw out our design using grid lock to draw on the dots, using the measuring tool so it's nice and accurate. We then need to place three holes, two for the screws to screw our acrylic on the top and one hole in the middle then for the LED to poke through. Everyone is going to have the same size so it's nice and fair and it's nice and accurate. Make sure using the black lines for cut and red lines for engrave. You can then create your design for your acrylic. So if you want to find an image off the internet, we can copy and paste that. We can then use the bitmaps tool at the top to contour that image, which we can then apply to our acrylic. Remember, red lines are for engrave, black lines are for cut. Once we've got our image, we can then start to set it up on the laser cutter. This is an example of CAM, Computer Aided Manufacture. So we have to tell the laser cutter the settings that we want to be able to cut it out of 3mm acrylic. So we can set up our red lines and our black lines to cut acrylic. We then set it up on the laser cutter, press go, and you can see here the laser cutter cutting through 3mm acrylic nice and accurately for us. Once it's cut out, we can use the line bender then to bend the bend line that we created earlier. So that's just above the plaque that we're gonna screw on. So we're gonna leave it on the line bender for about a minute and a half until it's warm enough to bend at 90 degrees, which you can see here. So we can bend it at 90 degrees. We can then hold that in position for about 30 seconds to a minute and it will cool down and will set in that 90 degree position like that. Then we're ready to start creating our LED light using a printed circuit board like so, which has all of the different components labeled on it so you know where everything needs to go. So we're gonna start with our first component which is gonna be the resistor. Everything is in your bag, make sure you write your name on your bag and don't take all the components out. Get your resistor, bend the legs gently and put them in through the holes. Always solder, we're always gonna be soldering onto these silver discs on the back. So poke your component through and then bend the legs, like I said, very gently. Bend them out slightly so it'll stay in place. Get some solder, which is easily broken off the spool here. And we're then gonna use a soldering iron. Be careful, it's very, very hot. We're only gonna hold onto the plastic parts like so. Hold it like a pen so it's nice and accurate, using the sponge to wipe off any excess solder. And we're looking for shiny volcanoes. Once you've done the resistor and the switch, we're then gonna use the LED. You can see the LED has got one leg that's shorter than the other, and it's also got a flat edge. That is the negative edge, and if you see on the, circuit, the printed circuit board that it's marked out for you, make sure it's the right way around. Keep it nice and tall up of the board and sold the bottom of the legs. Push the USB cable through the back of the box, and then it's got a red and a black wire. Red is for positive, black is for negative, and as you can see, it's labeled on the USB again. Poke it up through the strain relief holes, and back down through the holes, again, soldering onto those shiny discs on the other side of the printed circuit board. Once you've complete, check all your shiny volcanoes and snip the legs off if it's accurate, and then do some circuit testing by plugging it into a USB port to make sure they're lights up. Make sure that you leave the switch on inside the light. You can then create, get a LED clip, which will clip the LED to the lid, and then you can then screw the lid on using the dome headed screws from earlier. You'll also need two dome headed screws for your acrylic, which we then will screw on on top of the LED light. Then you can plug it into a USB port for a final test and check, make sure everything's nice and accurate, it works, and job done. Well done, you've made your USB light.